everyone, and today we is another, uh, not we is, it is another day, uh, another release day. A new Pokemon card set, the first set of 2024, Paldean Fates. Now previously, in past eras, they released sets uh, like uh, Shining Fates, this is like the shiny set for uh, the modern era. So uh, they released this late trainer box. I'm kind of curious to see what we're going to get because most likely we're going to be uh, losing money as we always do with Pokemon cards. But supposedly the pool rates are really good on Paldea and Fates. But I just watched a guy open about 100 packs of it and he got terrible pools. So I really don't know what to expect. And also we have the Mimikyu EX box um, that I've had for the, about the past 10 months. Uh, that I got in the uh, Steak and Shake restaurant review, if you guys watched that video way back in the day. So uh, we're going to be opening that because, ironically, Mimikyu is on both of these. We're going to start with the Elite Trainer box. We got nine packs in this baby. Let's see what we can get. Boys, we've opened an ETB for every single set in the Scarlet and Violet series. Actually, we've opened an ETB for every single set in the last year, so even like Crown Zenith and... Since Crown Zenith, we opened an ETB for every set. We're going to kind of destroy the box because, well, it. Ooh, yeah, all right. Plastic out because, guys, we're going to lose money. Um, the char There is a Charizard in this set, but a lot of these uh, ultra rares are reprints. A lot of these cards are reprints from previous sets, except for the new ones. So, we're going to check out the guide. Okay. So this is the Paldean Fates set list. I'm going to show you the cards we're looking for, and I'm going to show you how many shinies there are. There are a lot of shinies in the sets. So those are the main new ones. Almost all of these are reprints from other sets, like that Charizard EX, I believe, is from Obsidian Flames, and then like the Gardevoir is from something else. I think Scarlet and Violet Base. But yeah, look how many shinies there are. This is the crazy part. All of these are shiny cards, and they're not too rare, but they're valuable. So we're going to try to pull as many of these as we can. We're just going to pull as many good cards as we can. And then they even have these shiny uh, EXs over here. So those are going to be nice to pull. Obviously, the alternate arts. The gold cards are really weird now. They have like this, they're almost blue looking now. They've changed up the gold cards. This is the rarest card in the set are going to be these three alternate arts. We have Charizard. Gardevoir, and Mew. And those are the three we're going to be looking for, are these. And then we also have gold cards of Wo Chin, Chi Lu, Chin Pao, Maridon, Ting Lu, and Karidon EX. So if we can pull any of those, that would be hype. I have the gold Karidon from Scarlet and Violet. Or if we can get any of these special illustrations, that would be sick. But peace out. Um, this is the promo. The promo for this... Um, Elite Trainer Box is pretty good. Uh, looks fine. I hate how they do these plastic openings. Just put it in a freaking sleeve, dude. One car in here. Looks pretty nice. It's the Mimikyu um, Art Rare, but it's a promo, so. Damage counters that you always get in these things. You get dice. The sleeves look really cool, actually. But they probably struggle with the same problem that most modern sets do in the fact that you can't see the full texture when you put it in the sleeve. We're going to put it in the sleeve anyway. Yeah, there you go. Mimikyu in a Mimikyu sleeve. Then we got our classic block of energies. That'll, have a couple, that'll probably have a couple cents retail value later on. Resale value. And now we have the dividers, the Mimikyu dividers. Here are our nine packs. Let's get into this, baby. So, um... Our pack arts, the first one here, I've never, this, these look cool actually. This is a nice looking uh, pack arts. Probably be up in a lot of these. They'll probably do a lot of Paldean Fates uh, promo boxes. This, I think, what's this thing's name? It's not Armor Rouge, it's the other one. I forgot its name. I don't know my Gen 9 Pokemon very well. All right, can we get some shinies? Also, they actually changed the code card design. Now, instead of having battle styles on the back, it has uh, Scarlet Violet Base. Or Scarlet and Violet set, and now it's got all this um, stuff on the top, and that's about it. All right, Barboach is up first here. Woobat, Common, Tandem Mouse. Most of these are reprints from Scarlet and Violet, Paldea Evolved, Obsidian Flames, and um, Paradox Rift. 
So most of these artists we already have. We have Mouse Hold and Tandem Mouse. We have Iono. Oh, we got a shiny. Our very first shiny on our first pack. We got Jigglypuff. Okay, not bad. Um, we got a Mimikyu Reverse Rare. So Mimikyu is the mascot of the set. So I'll, I'll take that. And then Sir Ledge, uh, regular hollow, which kind of sucks, but we'll take it. All right, Sir Ledge is who's on the front of that. I think those are those are pretty good. This is just a reverse, so we'll probably just throw it in here, honestly. Jigglypuff was solid. We'll we'll give we'll put that in a sleeve. So we're gonna take as many shinies as we can get, honestly. You can't get mad at the shinies, especially in the games. The shinies are very, very valuable. And the shinies are the whole point of this set because they're the new ones. There we go. We got Jigglypuff. Not the coolest Pokemon in the world, but hey, we'll take Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff's in Smash. Speaking of Smash Bros. characters, we have Pikachu on the front of this pack here. Let's dig into it. All right, we got eight to go. Hopefully, we can just get at least one Ultra Rare or something like that. would be... Be happy with that. All right, we got Charmander. That's a good start. Can we get Charizard in this pack? I don't know. Rare Candy. Another Tandem Mouse. Another Barboach. Technical Machine. Crisis Punch. Good old Doc's Burn. Pneumonia's Backpack. Pneumonia? Pneumonia. Pneumonia's Backpack, not Pneumonia. Oinkalone. Reverse. Fampy Reverse. And a freaking regular rare Goldango. Yeah, that's an interesting art on that thing, but... No one gives crap about regular hollows. I'm sorry. No one likes you. I'm gonna be very good. Let me throw these actually in the box instead of on the table because that just looks bad. I mean, not throw the pack in there. Ah, a lot of French. All right. We got this uh, albino. I don't even know what that thing is to be honest with you. We're gonna open it. We got a big old white whale on the front of this pack. Again, I don't know the Scarlet and Violet Pokemon very well at all. There's the code for Paldean Fates. We're starting out here with a good old Execute, a Mankey, Flittle, Pikachu himself, Camerupt, Electric Generator, Charmeleon, Gimme Goal, Reverse. Ooh, we got a one trio Art Rare. That's a one gold star. It's not too bad. And an Executor Hollow, followed by a Steel Energy. All right, Executor Regular Hollow kind of sucks. We don't care about Regular Hollows, but we did get an Art Rare. We got a Gold Star Art Rare, Wug Trio. That's pretty cool. I'll take that card. Nothing crazy, but we'll take it. Can't get mad at an Art Rare, especially because of how cool they look. Yeah, I hate these sleeves, but we're just, we're just rolling. This, I think, is... I don't remember that thing's name. It's like... Punt, it like hits you with a hammer and it's like tink a tank or something like that. I don't even know, man. These these Paldea Pokemon are just ridiculously they just look weird, honestly. Numel Maractus, which is um universally voted the most forgettable Pokemon of all time. Maractus. Paldean student, Chin Chow. We actually had a question on academic team the other day, yesterday about Pokemon question on there. About the anime. So that kind of that was interesting. Lantern, Noibat, uh, reverse. Didene, reverse. And a regular hollow Raichu. God freaking dang it. Well, Raichu's kind of cool, but we need to stop with the freaking hollows. I hate hollows, man. They suck. All right, we got a couple packs left. Let's get 1EX today, please. Um, we're praying for 1EX. At least... Something good. Uh, Pikachu art again. Let's go. We got Chin Chow, Pineco, Pikachu, Fampy, Artisan, Curly, a Techno Machine, our reverses, our Mankey, and a Palmy art rare. Okay, not bad. And a freaking everyone's favorite Revivroom Hollow. I don't know what it is with these modern packs, but I never get EXs anymore. I don't know why. I'm never just getting EXs out of these. This was the last Elite Trainer box that they had at GameStop. So the set's kind of in... I don't know if it's in high demand or they're just not making products too much anymore for Pokemon cards, but I don't really know what's going on. We got the Palmy Art Rare, and we got the One Trio Art Rare, and we got a Jigglypuff Shiny. All right, we got four packs left. We're going to start with the Albino Killer Whale Pokemon on this pack here. I have no idea who that is, but uh, that's what we're doing. Varum, 
everyone's favorite. Charmander, Dedene, Pneumonia, Mimona, uh, Mousehold, Iono, Kilowattrell, Grievard, Reverse, Charcadet, Reverse, and freaking Hollow Mimikyu. That was the worst pack yet. That was the worst pack yet. We didn't even get anything interesting out of that. We already got the Reverse uh, Mimikyu. All right, Tinkaton again. All right. This is a terrible opening. All right, guys. See, this is why you don't waste money on your cards. Lapras. Lapras is epic, but it's only a common for some reason. Toad's cool. Lechonk, Charcadet, Doxburn, Gengar is only an uncommon in this set. Electric Generator, a Wubat Reverse, a Cyclozar Reverse, and a Professor's Research Hollow. Oh, my God. If I pull another regular Hollow, I am going to have an aneurysm on camera, and it's not going to be pretty. We have two... Um, I forgot his name. Um, Sarah Ledge, uh, packs left. So if we don't get an EX out of these, we can pretty much say that elite, uh, elite trainer boxes are basically stupid because they started to weight the pools on them. So the best, your best option is blisters, but I don't think this pack has blisters because it's a special set. Not too rare candy, cottony, pineco, clive, curlia, techno machine, Christ punch. Our reverses are whooper, Paldean and whooper. Freaking Chen Chow and a freaking Houndstone Hollow. Are you serious right now? This is terrible. This is just, this is worse than Paradox Rip. I'm about to get Paldan Rip. All right. Very last pack of Paldan Fates. Are we going to get anything? Are we going to get anything out of this? Also can't breathe. Mankey, Flittle, Grievar, Pikachu, Atticus, Mouse hold on our reverses are. Okay, we got a Watrell shiny. Okay, not bad. Mastiff reverse and a regular rare hollow mag mortar. Every single freaking pack we got a regular hollow, but we got a couple shinies and a couple illustration rares. But our shinies that we got were nothing too special, honestly. Jigglypuff and Watrell. I don't know who would want... I don't know. But that's what it is. We did get two illustration rares. Pawnee, which was fine. Wug Trio was pretty cool. This was probably the best pull we got out of that Elite Trainer box. That was a terrible box. Anyway, hopefully our luck comes in because we actually have another box we're going to be opening. The Elite Trainer... Uh, the uh, Premium Collection box for Mimikyu EX. And this actually, I believe, released before Scarlet and Violet even came out, at least the set. This came out, I think, in March of 2023. Uh, came out before... The games were already out. The games came out in 2022, but this box came out before the actual opening set of Scarlet and Violet. So we have Brilliant Stars in here and uh, Silver Tempest and Fusion Strike. We're going back. We're going back. Fusion Strike 2021 set. In here, boys. So let's get... Let's get ripping! Island card collector reference. Dang, this thing, this thing has been waiting to get get open for a while. Me and uh, Kingy B went out to uh, Walmart for the swing dance and got this bad boy. It's finally getting open. Hopefully, I think my luck was pretty good back then, so hopefully we get good stuff. Let's see what's been hiding in this box all this time. Uh, and you're probably like, why did they just have a random common card in here? This was Grievard, who's a Gen 9 Pokemon, so it was pretty cool to have this this early, because this is technically a Sword and Shield era box still, so pretty interesting. Uh, our EX is Mimikyu EX. Pretty cool looking. This was the first uh, EX that you could get when they brought the EXs back in um, this in Scarlet and Violet. We have the Jumbo Promo, of course. You gotta love it. Scarlet and Violet number four promo. And we have uh, some older sets here. We have uh, Silver Tempest, Brilliant Stars, and we have uh, another Silver Tempest and a Fusion Strike. Now, Fusion Strike is, I think, the biggest set ever released. There's like 280 cards in here. Um, and it came out in, I think, November of 2021. And then uh, Brilliant Stars and Silver Tempest came out in 2022. So 
Let's see what we got going. We got our code card, our Mimikyu EX code card. We'll clean this up after the video's over. Let's see what we got. Uh, since we have two Silver Tempest, uh, we're, we'll go oldest to newest. We're, we're gonna start with a Fusion Strike because I usually get bad luck with Fusion Strike. And I gotta remember, the uh, pack trick is back because this is a Sword and Shield era set here. And also the yellow borders are back. So let's see what happens. Uh, there's our code card for Fusion Strike. This set is starting to come, uh, it's starting to get pretty tricky to come by. Um, four from the back. Good old days. All right. Electric Energy. We have a Galarian Perserker. This is so weird seeing the yellow borders right now. Galarian Perserker, an Eldegoss, a Cramomatic, a Pan Sage, Clefki. Is it just weird? These cards look really dark. I don't know. Probably because not we don't have the silver border. Sizzlipede, heck yeah. Geodude, Snubble, Reverse, Pukamuku, and a regular rare Huntail. Yep, we're back to only one reverse hollow. And that was a pretty bad. That was a terrible pack. Oh my god, this is not gonna be. Is this gonna be the worst opening ever? Uh Brilliant Stars is up. Give me the Charizard V Star, and we will that'll make the video. But it ain't gonna happen. White border, not a good, not a good sign. All right. Water energy. Tropius, Claydol, Freshwater Set, Sock, Corfish, Golet, Chime Echo. Everyone's favorite Pokemon, Chime Echo. If you know anybody whose favorite Pokemon is Chime Echo, I would love to know. Uh, Halucha, Reverse, and a regular rare, freaking Haxorus. And I swear I've pulled that card before. God, this is the worst. You know how much money I've lost doing this opening? It's kind of embarrassing. Silver Tempest with a um, Reggie Drago on the front. If we could pull the alternate Art Lugia somehow, we could make all of our money back that we spent in this entire opening. Right, by the way, the alternate Art Charizard in Paldean Fates, I think it's going for about $200 right now I looked at. And then the Gardevoir and Mew are over 100. That is a black border. That is a good sign. I think they were still doing that. Silver Tempest was the last Sword and Shield pack set. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. We got something nice in the back. I saw, I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was nice. Um, Fighting Energy, Altaria, Brandon. Heck yeah, we got a Brandon card. Let's go. Jinx, <laughs> Clink, Growlithe, Pikachu, Pet Lil, Togedemaru. Ooh, Altaria Trainer. Gallery card that is nice, and for the big reveal, a Lance Full Art. Nice now, that ooh, that looks that, that's a beautiful card right there. All right, so we got the Trainer Gallery, Altaria, and the Full Art Lance. That that is okay, those are some nice pulls. I'll take those. That's probably the best we've gotten all, all day. And that was a good pack, that was actually a good pack. And for the final pack. Reggie Lecky on the front here. We gotta put these in sleeves when we're done, but we're gonna look at this Reggie Lecky pack real quick. Uh, I don't feel like looking at the code card to be honest, so um, we're gonna pretend I didn't see that because I don't. I didn't actually see that. Okay. Grass Energy Duosion, Regenerative Energy, a Serena Trainer, Spinarak, Drowsy, Buneary, Chime Echo again. Emolga, the reverse is a Toxicroak, and a regular rare Talonflame. Okay, I'll give it, give him props because Talonflame's actually a cool Pokemon. But we don't like regular rares, but it is what it is. All right, and we just opened up the Mimikyu box after all that time. What was hiding? A Full Art Lance was hiding. A Trainer Gallery Altaria. Just about the only two good pulls in the entire video. Right here. Full Art Lance is not bad, though. That looks... He looks nice. Actually, I had the Rainbow Rare version of Lance. I remember pulling that, actually. I had a booster bundle of uh, Silver Tempest, and I pulled the Rainbow Rare Lance. So now I have the Rainbow Rare and the regular Full Art Lance. Do I recommend this set? No. I do not recommend Pauday and Fates. Apparently, the pull rates have been or were supposedly good, but I watched an opening online on YouTube, and this opening after watching this, Seems like the pull rates are pretty trash, and I'm about done with ETBs, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know I've been doing ETBs for a while, but I'm about done with them. I think for the next several sets, 
we might transfer to just buying blister packs. We might just buy like three or four blister packs and just open those. Because the Elite Trainer boxes, they have weighted pools and it's just not, it's just not getting good stuff. Um, so we lost probably about 50 bucks in that video. So that goes to show that it's not worth it. I'm kind of fed up with Pokemon these days because the Paradox Rift, we didn't get anything good. We didn't even get a single EX out of Paldean Fates. We didn't get a single Ultra Rare pool out of nine packs. That's pretty pathetic. That is pretty bad. That's very bad. Luckily, the Mimikyu box came in clutch, then we didn't get the Florida Lance, so I'll, I'll take that card. Other than that, and then, and then this is a pretty, that's, that's pretty cool. But other than that, we had the Mimikyu EX promo that came with it. We also had a couple illustration rares. We had two illustration rares, Palmy and Wug Trio. Two shinies, we had Watro and Jigglypuff. And then the um, promo that came with the Elite Trainer box. So that, one thing you guys watch. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. And do not buy Paldean Fates. It is trash. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Wah!